In the words of Tony Stark from The Avengers, part of the journey is the end. And I'm looking right here, potentially your last assessment of your secondary experience. It's crazy. Crazy to think about. What's going on guys? I just thought I'd give you a bit of a short video of just a little bit of an overview of what this project is and a little bit more guidance on how to research certain things. So that way you can do well and you can finish your senior year strong and I don't have to hold any of your diplomas hostage because you failed the US government. That's always awkward, so please don't do that. Um, so without further ado, let's talk about this project. So right here, I have all the guidelines towards this project. I have the directions. I even give you a bit of an outline of what each slide should have. Minus that. That, that should be slightly. I'm doing this live, folks. We're doing this live. Anywho, you're going to be doing a research project, which is ultimately going to be a presentation, a PowerPoint presentation, just like your department projects, on who represents you on the various levels, the local, state, and federal national level. Now I will give you a word of caution. I've done this project for years and normally it's a little bit more substantial as in we cover literally everything. I watered it down a little bit for you guys because A, coronavirus and B, your senioritis. So you're welcome. Just make sure you get this done despite my watering it down because I will have no sympathy for you if you can't get this done. But uh, anywho, a couple of things for this project. You're going to be basically finding out who are the actual people, their names, what they look like. You can even find out their phone numbers if you want to take it that far uh, in our various levels of government. A um, couple of things to keep in mind. Uh, make sure, A, that you're citing for your sources and stuff on your PowerPoint. I really don't want to have to dangle a assessment grade over you and then you can't get your diploma because of that. Make sure you cite, guys. And if you have any questions about citing at this point, don't feel bad to ask. I know you want to pump the brakes, some of you, but it's better to learn it here before a professor just laughs at you next year. So just ask me. I'm here to help. So make sure you cite this and uh, make sure that you're not using Wikipedia. I mean, that was one of the biggest things for the last project. Don't use Wikipedia. Pictures, fine. You can use pictures from Wikipedia. Um, Use Wiki Commons for that. It's easier and cites better. Even profess a lot of professors allow that. Um, but your information shouldn't be from Wikipedia. Now, with that being said, I have a ton of websites here that you can utilize to help you when it comes to research. All of these websites are acceptable, so make sure you're utilizing stuff like that. Without further ado, let's talk specifically about certain things. So, all the slides are numbered, and it tells you exactly what you need on the slides. You got a title with your name on it. You have the local government. That one should be pretty straightforward because every single one of the local governments have their own website. So like the Village of Royal Palm Beach's website or the City of West Palm Beach's website, you'll find all that information there. And it's going to be situational based. Some of us live in Royal Palm, some live in the acreage, some live in Lake Worth, all that different stuff. So that one, uh, obviously find your website for your city. But these slides right here, slide three and slide four, this is where most people tend to have the trouble with each year. Uh, they also have trouble with the county commissioners, but I took that off for you guys because that's not a battle I want to fight. I, I know Nick Redseen has already pointed this out in his head, so I'm going to fix that real quick. But doing it live again. So, anywho, with the state reps and the state senators, I'm going to show you guys how to search those properly because every year I get people who literally put the national level ones in the state level positions. It's not going to cut it. I need the people who are actually representing you in Tallahassee, not Washington, D.C. And most people don't know those people exist, let alone their names. So let's find out who those people are. So on a browser, such as Chrome, you're going to go to a website. I personally like myfloridahouse.gov because it gives you literally the answers for the other branches as well. might not give you as detailed information as the other websites, but you get the idea. Now what you're going to do is you are going to find this button here where it says representatives. Not this button, not that button, not these buttons. These are all interesting information in case you want to see like laws that are trying to be passed in Florida. But we're just trying to find out who these people are. So you'll go to representatives and you will literally push this button here where it says find your representative. And then you'll literally get 
a thing where you literally just type in your address and it will do all the work for you, at least on the state level and some of the national level. Now, I'm not going to plug in my address because stalkers, I mean, no. So I found a funnier option here. Uh, if you know what this address is or know who Tom Brady is, well, you're about to find out who represents Tom Brady. At that point, push this button here confirming you are not a robot. Please don't tell the state of Florida that I am a robot. I know I'm lying on that one, but it's for your sake, not mine. Um, it compiles all the information for you at that point, and bada bing, bada boom, you have a ton of information to work with here. So you find your state representative. This isn't your state representative. This is for Tom Brady, not for you guys. And you'll find your state senator. You'll find even their district numbers. Again, these should not be on your project because these are people in Tampa and all that different stuff. You find even the national level representative, again, not yours, and you even have the U.S. senators right there. Uh, this website's great, especially if you want to find your representative to potentially call your representatives in Tallahassee and be like, yo, can you like try to pass this bill? Yo, thanks. Yo, in that order. Uh, it literally gives all their information right here. And it'll even give you for like more specific information a little bit about them such as for this state representative here, it literally says their district number as well as what political party they are. It literally tells a little bit about a biography for all of them. Um, for the state senators and all the other stuff, you'll probably have to utilize the other websites because again, this is dedicated towards the Florida House of Representatives. But you get the idea, the researching aspect isn't that difficult. You literally just go to this website, you go to find my representative, and you literally just plug in your address. Now bear in mind for this project, I am grading you guys based upon accuracy. As in, if you literally put like representatives and senators and stuff that do not represent where you live, you are not going to get any credit for those portions. Also, if you mix them up, like for, let's say for state senators, you put Marco Rubio or Rick Scott instead of whoever your state senator is, let's say Bobby Powell, that's going to be a big chunk of points off of your project as well. So make sure you're keeping these things in mind. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Just follow the outline where it has all the slides. Uh, make sure you cite this. Make sure you're using good sources such as these. And make sure that you guys are finishing strong. I know a lot of us want to uh, take our foot off the accelerator at this point of your senior year. I hope I can encourage you to floor that thing and finish it strong. I know this is a little weird of a time, but uh, this is your last chance to make an impression on secondary. And if you feel like you're not going to do super, super well, well, I'll tell you what. All you've got to do is do better than Josh. If you do better than Josh, I think you're going to do pretty well. Anywho, guys, hope you're doing really, really well. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy, and I can't wait to see you guys again. Otherwise, adios.